the spline tool. Um, you're going to use it to click points kind of at the vertices around this. Um, you can't get it accurate on the first one. So your first goal is just clicking on vertices or maybe in the middle of a bend. And then afterwards, we go back and edit those points and the curves that result um, from placing the points. So this is the spline tool. It's the fit point spline tool. Um, and it works the same way as the line where it'll keep creating sections for you until you get back to the beginning. As a matter of fact, when you're using this, you're going to want to avoid um, clicking that little green arrow that will end the spline. So let me show you. And I also want to emphasize that I'm not going to be too picky about the placement, which is why I'm not zooming in. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to click here. And I'm just going to go around and I'm either going to click, see, this is what you want to avoid. Don't click that arrow. So I'm just going to click either the tips of vertices or like halfway through. And if you accidentally hit this, it's okay because when you go back to the spline, you can pick up where you left off. So I'm going to click there. And now I'm picking up. And you can see it curving nicely. Sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it's not. For this one, it's going to take some editing. So I'm actually going to click this here and then go up here. So this part, in a way, you should do kind of rapidly because you don't really get the detail until you come back in. So I'm going to click kind of close to that point. I'm not going to go up in here. I'm going to bring this back down to the nose of the horse. And again, you can see the curves are really inaccurate, but that's okay because you can't get to the heart of this tool until you finish placing points. Um, and again, you're only going to get good at this tool by practice. So there's nothing wrong with clicking more points than you need because you can delete them later. Um, and again, just try to avoid clicking that green arrow. So, I'm almost back to the start, and I'm going to click there, I'm going to click at the top, I'm going to click midway, I'm going to click in this hole, and then I'm going to go back to the beginning. And it didn't stop for me automatically, so I'm going to click there. And you can see this insane amount of green lines, which is super intimidating. Don't worry about it yet, because when we start to refine, we're only going to be looking at one at a time. Um, initially, it's really pretty overwhelming, but don't worry about it just yet. And don't finish your spline. I'm going to stop this movie um, because the next explanation takes longer. So um, really just keep in mind that I wasn't accurate if we only look at the tracing of this. So actually, if I finish the sketch and we only look at the tracing of it, um, you can see that it's wildly inaccurate, which is absolutely fine. So I'm going to stop here. When I, when I come back in, I will reopen that sketch and we will work on moving the points and changing the curve so that it's got a closer representation of the figure we want. Okay. See you in the next video.